It's not a question of if you're going to do one of these, it's when's the next time you're going to do a bonehead move. I remind my audiences of this all the time because the most effective laughter often at work, the most powerful laughter, is when we remember to just laugh at ourselves, at our own mistakes, at our own humanity. This is especially important if you're a leader in the workplace, to be able to laugh at your own bonehead plays. In fact, so much so, I urge you to buy one of these for your workplace. They're like, I don't know, 10 bucks. You can get them from prop stores, joke stores. Just Google them. You'll, you'll find it all over. You'll find one in a town near you or online, I'm sure. You should have at least one of these, if not a whole whack of these in your workplace for a couple of uses. Number one, you can put it on just to remind yourself to laugh at yourself, to lighten up, to turn the punchline on yourself the next time you do something that is boneheaded. Number two, it can function, trust me, like a get out of jail free card. I used to wear this when I did something that I knew upset one of my employees, one of my colleagues, I would show up at their office wearing this. And it, trust me, it is like a get out of jail free card when you show up wearing this and admit that you screwed up. You could even do it with your customers if you want. The third way you can use this as another thing that we did, which worked brilliantly, was at the end of every month, we had the official Bonehead Play of the Month Award, where you had to nominate yourself for the Bonehead Play of the Month Award. Doesn't work to build the team spirit if you start nominating other boneheads in your workplace, but you nominate yourself, and then we'd have this really short ceremony on a Friday afternoon, the last Friday of every month, where you had to compete for the reward, the small prize that we would give out. Sometimes there'd be just a couple people, sometimes just myself, so I won the award by acclamation, I guess. But this worked as a great way to lighten up the mood in the workplace, to reward people who had done something that probably caused them a little bit of stress at the time, but also to open up the conversation so that people admitted their mistakes and didn't cover them up or sweep them under the rug so that we learned from each other. So get yourself a bonehead to remind yourself of the importance of laughing at yourself, laughing as a team at your boneheaded place. What about you? What do you do in your workplace to encourage people to laugh at their own blunders, to laugh at their own mistakes? Please leave a comment in the comments below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe channel. Join our growing community as we talk about creating workplace cultures that rock.